hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here thank you for joining us please don't forget to subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up if you like this video share this video and comment on what you think about the topic of discussion today and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as always thank you so much for st sticking with me through this journey and yeah let's get right into the topic of discussion now today's topic of discussion is friend becky now i would like you guys to please take this with a grain of salt is it that way is it said that way i think so like these are my assumptions and my thoughts and are by no way facts but i feel like the friend becky ship has come to a halt i feel like loyal pain would actually be the last show that they actually do together and i feel like becky no longer works for idol factory now i know becky has and friend have gone to different press interviews and they have said what they always say that i will stick by you forever and all that and i will continue working with you and i'm looking forward to working with you for a long time i know that's what they've said but things on the ground are pretty different because we've seen that idol factory like it doesn't promote becky's solo i don't want to say events but projects and we have seen that yeah maybe they are not promoting it because idol factory didn't get the job for becky but if idol factory didn't get the job for becky i think venture management probably got the job for becky but venture management also isn't posting any of becky's work which means that venture management didn't get those brands for becky something like chanel men's folio so if venture management didn't get it for becky and idol factory didn't get it for becky then who did so is it like becky's manager because i've had like sometimes richie checks on the role of the manager so is it richie who is communicating to brands like men's folio like like chanel or is it that becky has a new management company but that management company is underground for now until every single job that she has done with idol factory is over and done with and then that's when they will come to light and also we've seen that idol factory has released their calendar from the 16th to the end of this month and becky has no work apart from if she is promoting loyal pin that's the only work she has and she doesn't have any other work because look i'm not saying i am saying i am saying that i feel like i owe the becky's angel an apology for thinking that becky will still ride the friend becky ship for the next two to three years but i feel like she's just she just feels that idol factory and her are going on two different directions and she better like save herself other than stick with the ship for it to capsize and for her to lose absolutely everything because right now she is the it girl she has the momentum to go further than she has she has ever projected to go because now everyone knows what she can do everyone knows what she can bring to the table not even bring to the table she can come with an extra table and no one ever said having two tables is worse than having just one so i feel like everyone knows what kind of an asset she is and people are banking on it and they feel like this is the time to actually utilize it because we never know with this stardom thing 
Tomorrow there might just be a new girl that comes and takes everything under her. Because every single time I'm a a much prettier, a much humble, a much talented woman gets the opportunity to break through that door and then it's over. So if you have the opportunity to actually show people how good you are, then you're supposed to use every single opportunity that you get to show those people that you deserve the top spot. That the top spot isn't just, it just can't be taken away from you. Like you deserve it and the person behind you has to work 10,000 times harder to actually get it. Now, we also have seen Becky, like in different lives, she has also come forward and said that she is like taking other auditions. She's constantly auditioning for other roles and all that. She's putting herself out there more to get as much, as many opportunities as she could. Now, when she talks, she talks as an I. She doesn't talk as a we. Which means that these opportunities that she's getting, if they're good enough, that means that she has less time to work for whichever project that Idol Factory brings to the table for her and friend. So that means that she's probably not looking onto Idol Factory, but we do know that Idol Factory, even if like they do release a project, if loyal is released this year it will probably end last next year so no it will end this year but like by the time they get another project to be on it will be probably well over 2026 or at the end of 2025 because they will be still basking in loyal pin and making sure that they get their money's worth before they invest in another show now not that just that they're also taking different projects you see that friend i think this week will start working on riders the movie and becky will start i'm hearing like she will start working on vamp the series i think next year early next year i'm not sure of the timeline yet for vamp the series but i've had through the grapevine or i have seen through the grapevine that it might just start filming from early next year now not that ju- just that we've seen them going on separate interviews we've seen them go on like go on to do different magazine covers we've seen them more and more work on separate brands and not brands taking them as a team which means that probably the brands that are taking friend are mostly of from idol factory idol factory is sourcing them for her because we've seen them promote those things for friend so that is another clue that i think that becky will no longer be part of idol factory after the uranus project and also another thing that i feel like becky is no longer part of the uranus project because we've seen even in the chair to share like interview like friend was talking about how she would support like Becky in whatever she does, whichever path she chooses. It's like them, they were soft launching that they might just go separate ways, but it doesn't mean that they will not be supporting one another. And then we saw that friend, I think during the weekend, attended an event for, I think, Z Social. It is a management company. It manages a lot, a lot of celebrities and influencers. And we saw the event was attended by a lot of celebrities and influencers. And I feel like maybe Friend was being, I don't say auditioned, but she was being shown what being part of Z Social management is. So probably she will be 
stop she will stop working with venture management or i i i'm just trying to put things together because i don't know why she would attend that event if it is not like a work event because we saw a lot of influencers we saw a lot of like there was actresses there were like there were very prominent people and if you go look at the ig page like those people have like a huge a huge following on social media so i'm thinking maybe she's also changing like her management company not meaning that she's changing like idol factory but she's changing her management company which can be able to get her international brands apart from venture management now this will be a huge blow for venture management to actually lose to lose bright and then to lose who to lose friend like it is not working i don't know if becky will still remain with venture management or she has also just left venture management and she's probably just looking for another like management company because we do know that the first person who could actually leave like venture management is becky after what they did to her with the balenciaga brand and I feel like maybe she was like done so and she said okay I'm done like if you all can't just put me first and trust in me and trust in my fan base and actually listen to like shippers and all these people let you dictate like my work then you are better you are probably not the best fit for me so I'm thinking maybe also like she's done i i still saw that she's still following venture management friend is still following venture management venture management is still following them but it's not a shock because venture management is still following bright even though they don't work with bright and bright and followed them so i'm on the lookout to see whether it will get to a point whereby becky and friend both and follow venture management or one of them and follow venture management now i think also becky because we know that her fans have been asking for her to leave like idol factory for so long especially after the whole friends and scandal and how becky was put into it and she was like the punching bag for so long because people couldn't get access to either friend or saying and idol factory like didn't even give two f's they didn't care whatever was happening and i feel like maybe she had like after the cans film festival i feel like she knew that okay i can actually I have a fan base that can ride with me till the end of the earth and I can actually trust them with my career to be able to actually push me out there and to be able to support whatever I do and she has been seeing it she has been seeing how like her fans have been going out all out for her and I feel like she's confident enough right now to know that she can actually stand for herself because she's confident enough she has proven that she can be able to maintain like very good working relationships because we've seen everyone that she has worked with even makeup artists whoever has nothing but incredible incredible things to say about her and to say how far she she's going to go and we've also seen that that she's like did i say talented enough how people are praising how talented enough how she is very eager to learn and the growth that she's showing with every single project that she has out so i feel like if the time is right the time is now it is time now for becky to actually fly on her own and it will be an amazing things because from the beginning her and friend have, 
have always had very different dreams. She has always wanted to fly as high as she could. And Fred just wanted to fly as slow as she can. Like she wanted to fly from one tree to the next, which is a few meters away, and actually enjoy the scenery, bask in like the light and all that, find more about that tree. And then after she has exhausted that tree, then she flies to the next. But with Becky, she just goes from one tree to another. If she finds like there is something that is, if she sees that the tree in front of her is better than the one she's on now, she quickly flies there. And she's just one that wants to spread her wings. So if you've gotten to the end of this video, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video. And let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think it's time for friend and Becky to actually go their separate ways? Or not even do you think it's time? Do you think that loyal pin would actually be the last project that friend and becky do together and also again the timing of uranus the project like the way it was so rushed i feel like it was so rushed because after loyal pin maybe we will we would get the announcement that friend and becky are no longer a ship that's why they wanted to do it quickly before like the announcement come and no one actually watches it because they could have taken at least until like the end of this year to actually make sure that everything is done perfectly and if they had to reshoot some scenes they go back and reshoot some scenes and they would have given us that project either in january or february or even the latest like december and people would have still loved it. Like because it would have it takes a lot, a lot of time to do a sci-fi project because there is a lot of things that to come come to it. And if you do it hurriedly, like it will show. So yeah, let me know in the comment section. Bye.